Hi, I'm Cornel, and I'll be speaking about the different high-throughput sequencing data repositories and how they are interconnected. In this RDM byte, you will learn which repositories are available for high-throughput sequencing data. We will discuss how these repositories are interconnected and which metadata models they use. The three main organizations that provide repositories for high-throughput sequencing data are the European Bioinformatics Institute, the National Center for Biotechnology Information, and the DNA Data Bank of Japan. Each of these institutes provides several repositories that store data related to high-throughput sequencing. At EBI, ArrayExpress brokers functional genomics data from microarray and sequencing platforms. For these high-throughput sequencing-based experiments, the raw data is stored in the European Nucleotide Archive, while the experiment descriptions and process data are archived in ArrayExpress. Very recently, ArrayExpress has been integrated in the new BioStudies database to accommodate experiments that involve multiple technologies assaying different biological modalities, such as epigenetics and RNA and protein expression. At NCBI, we find a similar organization. The Gene Expression Omnibus database contains metadata and raw microarray data from high-throughput functional genomics experiments, while raw data from high-throughput sequencing experiments is stored in the Sequence Read archive. Lastly, we find again a similar organization with the DNA Data Bank of Japan, where the Genomic Expression Archive has a similar function as ArrayExpress or the Gene Expression Omnibus, and the DDBJ Sequence Read Archive is equivalent to the European Nucleotide Archive or the NCBI Sequence Read Archive. So how are these repositories interconnected? Already in the early 1980s, scientists realized the need to capture and present the increasing volumes of sequencing data. This led to the establishment of the International Nucleotide Sequence Database Collaboration, or INSDC. The partners in this collaboration are the organizations that we discussed in the previous slide, namely the EBI, NCBI and DDBJ. The INSDC houses two databases, the Trace Archive for raw data from capillary electrophoresis platforms and the Sequence Read Archive for raw and read alignment data from next generation platforms, not to be confused with the SRA repository of NCBI. Each partner hosts a full copy of the SRA database through daily data exchange, and as such, submissions made to the repository of one partner are automatically available through the repositories of the other partners. Data submitted to the SRA is organized using a metadata model consisting of six objects, study, sample, experiment, run, analysis, and submission. The study object contains high-level information, including goals of the study and literature references. The sample object contains information about the sequenced source material. The experiment object contains information about the sequencing experiment, including library and instrument details. A run is part of an experiment and refers to data files containing sequence reads. The analysis object contains secondary analysis results derived from sequence reads and the submission object represents a virtual container that holds the objects presented by the other five accessions and is used to track the submission in the archive. All metadata objects have unique accession numbers that are shared by INSDC partners. The prefix of the accession tells you what type of object it belongs to and to which repository it was initially deposited. For example, an accession number starting with ERP belongs to a study object that was originally submitted to the European Nucleotide Archive. An accession number starting with SRR belongs to a run object that was originally submitted to the NCBI Sequence Read Archive. An accession number starting with DRS belongs to a sample object that was originally submitted to the DDBJ Sequence Read Archive. That concludes our look at the different high-throughput sequencing data repositories. Take a look at the links associated with this video and links to additional resources for more information as well as other RDM bytes in this series.